Hey, how's it going? It's Chris here from Lunasec. I wanted to show you real quick how uh, how Lunatrace works and how it can start finding vulnerabilities and packages that you have for your projects. So I'm going to start out by connecting my GitHub account. I'm going to go ahead and authorize it. And now I'm going to follow the steps here. So connected to GitHub, now I'm going to configure my projects. So I have the option of setting, selecting all my repositories to be scanned or maybe just a few. So I'm going to start off with just one that I'm not sure if it has any vulnerabilities or not in it, but you know what? I'm going to find out. So let's see. Cool. I'm going to select vulnerable app. And now it's telling me that my app has been started to scan. Let's go check it out here. Cool. Well, <laughs> that's pretty quick. So let's look what we got here. So looks like a critical and it's a direct dependency in VM2. So that seems pretty important. I guess we can kind of drill down in there a little more. Cool. So, you know, you see critical vulnerabilities uh, in dependencies that you might directly have, and those are typically pretty important. And another cool thing that Lunatrace will show you is some of our vulnerability reporting, actually, we do a deep dive into. And so we have our security engineers look over these vulnerabilities and we'll, we'll write up a full write up of it. So if you're not too familiar with what vulnerabilities popping up in your projects, you can go into our guides and you can see more. So that's something that's usually pretty helpful. So we classify things as right higher and lower and we're trying to focus on just having the higher important things, right? The critical things actually show up for you guys. So we hide the lower one, but if you wanted to go in deeper, you can look. So another cool thing that we have here is transitive dependency analysis. So we can actually look at all of the ways that the vulnerable package is included in your app, right? So node fetch is not directly included in this app. It's actually included by isomorphic fetch, which is included by FBJS, which is comes from React, and then ultimately comes from auth lock, auth zero lock, which is a direct dependency. So very quickly we can determine, right, where does this vulnerable dependency come, right? Because the vulnerable dependencies node fetch. So our reasoning system, our scanning, will actually look at all of the relationships between these packages and it will tell you if there is a break in the chain, if you will. So, right, this is a dependency chain. And if, for example, React could not call Facebook JS, you would see an indication saying that you couldn't actually complete that chain, meaning the vulnerability doesn't actually mean anything to you because it's impossible for your immediate dependency to actually call into node fetch. So that's just one of the ways that Loon Trace will help you actually figure out what matters. So I just wanted to give you a quick demo of just how quick it is and easy it is to start looking at your dependencies and figuring out what actually matters for you, right? In, in your team, your projects, your organization. So more updates, but until next time, I'm Chris.